Well, I'm wondering if you can guess the theme here. Yep, that's right. Ravens, go Ravens. It's almost football season. And a little Mexican flair. Of course, we're going to be using jalapenos. So, how about some jalapeno poppers for those football games? Here's how. Okay, we're going to get started by taking our jalapenos and we're going to slice them down the center and then take our knife and we're going to remove the rib and the seeds. Remember, seeds, that's where all the heat is, but we're not going to use that much heat because of the kind of cheese that we're going to be using. I'm going to talk about in a second. Rubber gloves, essential for working with jalapenos or any kind of hot pepper uh, because they will tear you up. So we're going to do a whole bowl of these and get them all ready to be stuffed. And now I have all the jalapenos Cut in half, I've taken the seeds and the rib out. So this pile of seeds here, that's where all the heat is. So if I wanted them extra hot with my cheese filling, I would take some of the seeds and just put them right in there. And that's gonna add some heat. But I'm using uh, Monterey, jalapeno jack cheese so it already has some heat to it it's enough for me and I don't want to burn my guests out when they come over to watch the game so I'm probably just going to discard these and now we're going to work on our stuffing as I said I've got a Monterey jack cheese uh, jalapeno has a little kick to it and to that I'm going to add a little pepper and it's Raven's time, so some Old Bay. And that gives it the distinctive Maryland flavor when you bite into these bad boys. Uh, I've already um, fried about five slices of bacon. Crumbled it up, and we're going to add our bacon bits to it. And just a little milk. The reason for the milk is to hold it all together. I don't use cream cheese or any of that stuff because I don't like it. And we're gonna just mix that all together until it gets pretty pasty. So now, one by one, we're going to take our filling and just get it into the pepper. And go ahead and bring it over the top a little bit. There's one. Now we're going to do the same with all the rest of these. And as my friend Ed would say, there you go. Our next step is to put them in a milk and flour wash. Let them dry a little bit, about 10 minutes. This is kind of time consuming. And then we're going to put them through a milk and breadcrumb wash. Let them set about 10 minutes. And then one final milk and breadcrumbs. And then they're ready for the either deep fryer or the frying pan. By the way, today we're cooking with one of our favorite beverages. It, it isn't Dale's Pale Ale uh, this time, it's Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. Uh, regularly available in your grocery store or wherever you buy your beer. Sierra Nevada, great tasting beer, good to cook with. Okay, here we go with our milk and flour dredge. Remember, wet hand, 
dry hand. Wet hand, dry hand. Here we go. Give it a little wash. Roll it through. In the flour. And that one's done. Wet hand, dry hand. Okay, so we've uh, we put these with the milk and the flour, and now we're gonna go milk and breadcrumbs. And at this stage, to the milk, I'm gonna add obey. Why do you ask? Because I can. Here's our dredge. Wet hand, dry hand. On the rack. Wet hand, dry hand. On the rack. Now, we're gonna do this to our, um, to, all, to all of our poppers. We're going to let it dry for about 10 minutes and then we're going to take them and we're going to repeat the process. Milk, breadcrumbs, and that's going to give them a nice good coating that's going to hold up uh, when we put them in either the deep fryer or the frying pan with the oil. So I'll finish that up for you now. Okay, here it is. Um, these have the uh, double coating of Italian bread crumbs from the washes we did. These are gonna go in either deep fryer, which I don't have, or frying pan, which I do have. Um, gonna put an ample amount of oil in, preferably so that it covers the entire popper. But if it doesn't, that's okay. Uh, just watch them and maybe when I see them start to get golden brown on the sides, I'll just flip them over. And uh, in no time, they're done. They're ready to cool and eat or pop in a Ziploc bag and put them in the freezer and wait for that first football game. Uh, so here they are out of the uh, frying pan. Man, they look good and I just can't resist the urge not to. Oh, <laughs> are you kidding me? Mmm. Mmm.